victory is reserved for those who are willing to pay its price. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. It is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Victory comes from finding opportunities and problems. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you are strong, appear weak, but if you are weak, appear strong. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Those who are victorious plan effectively and change decisively. They are like a great river that maintains its course but adjusts its flow. One need not destroy one's enemy. One need only destroy his willingness to engage. Great results can be achieved with small forces. There is an intelligent way to eat a live frog. I just don't know what it is. In warfare, there are no constant conditions. He who can modify his tactics in relation to his opponent will succeed and win. Attack him where he is unprepared. Appear where you are not expected. Plan for what is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. All wars are won or lost before they are ever fought. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Swift as the wind, quiet as the forest, conquer like the fire, steady as the mountain. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Sweat more during peace, bleed less during war. 2. Not prepare is the greatest of crimes. To be prepared beforehand for any contingency is the greatest of virtues. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you. This will diminish his enthusiasm. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. If you fight with all your might, there is a chance of life, whereas death is certain if you cling to your corner. A warrior who is prepared to fight must also be prepared to die. One mark of a great soldier is that he fight on his own terms or fights not at all. Those who would wage war should first eliminate all domestic enemies before proceeding to attack the external foe. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. The height of strategy is to attack your opponent's strategy. The clever combatant imposes his will on the enemy, but does not allow the enemy's will to be imposed on him. Begin by seizing something which your opponent holds dear. Then he will be amenable to your will. The peak efficiency of knowledge and strategy is to make conflict unnecessary. He who knows his enemy 
and himself well will not be defeated easily. First learn to become invincible, then wait for your enemy's moment of vulnerability. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Wait by the river long enough, and the body of your enemy will float by you. If it is to your advantage, make a forward move. If not, stay where you are. A military operation involves deception. Even though you are competent, appear to be incompetent, though effective, appear to be ineffective. Hold out baits to entice the enemy, feign disorder, and crush him. The successful person has unusual skill at dealing with conflict and ensuring the best outcome for all. He who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Unless you enter the tiger's lair, you cannot get hold of the tiger's cubs. You can prevent your opponent from defeating you through defense, but you cannot defeat him without taking the offensive. You cannot know if you will be successful or not. You can only prepare for battle, and it must be done with all of your heart and with all of your consciousness. In that manner, you will have an edge. Ultimate excellence lies not in winning every battle, but in defeating the enemy without ever fighting. The line between disorder and order lies in logistics. Don't flail against the world, use it. Flexibility is the operative principle in the art of war. Concentrate your energy and hoard your strength. If you know both yourself and your enemy, you can win a hundred battles without a single loss.